Hey everyone, HK Sniper here. So this is not a rant or anything along those lines. This is just going to be kind of an update video. Um, I'm going to discuss some future events coming up here. And I'm also going to discuss an event that we just went to. So we'll go from there. Um, kind of to kick back here. I didn't realize I haven't had a whole lot of content recently, and I apologize for that. But um, starting in January, I was attending a class and it ended here in May and especially towards the later part of this class it required a lot of my attention and a lot of my work I had to do a lot of studying I had to <laughs> prepare for more than one test that I had to do and uh, all the testing is done passed the class through it and uh, we're entering reenacting season here and so I got an open schedule and I'll try to get some more content out there Anyway, so let's, uh, we'll discuss some events coming up here in the near future here in a minute. But I want to discuss an event that happened this weekend. And this was uh, uh, Fort Meigs in Perrysburg, Ohio. It's called Muster on the Mall Me. Perrysburg, Ohio, and Fort Meigs in particular is located along the Maumee River. And that is just south of Toledo. And this is, again, this is in Ohio. This is a timeline event that represents time periods from ancient Rome up to modern ages. They accept uh, all ages, all nationalities, uh, pretty much everything. Em all, all nationalities, empires, whatever. Uh, so as long as you pre-register, of course. And uh, they are very hospitable, and that's something I wanted to discuss, and we're going to kind of discuss that further onto the main point that I'm going to make here. But um, they did a very good job this year with how they treated reenactors, and I thought it was uh, very well done. The guy that was actually overwatching our 20th century area, fantastic. I mean, this guy was coming in, he was checking on us all the time making sure we had what we needed, making sure everything was going well, asking how things were going, how we felt about things, and um, I mean, this guy was, a, I believe, a shining light uh, as to what it means to be a staff for an event like this in reenacting. And I want to thank him in particular, and I also want to thank the staff for being so accommodating. We've gone there for four years, and this year, I believe, uh, was the best in terms of uh, accommodations and our treatment. We've always been treated great, but this year was uh, definitely cream of the crop, and it was great. So, um, on to the main point here. Uh, this event has been experiencing a decline. There's less rain actors showing up, and there's less spectators showing up. I personally believe, and I believe a few others that I've spoken with, will agree with this that uh, I, I think honestly the Father's Day weekend this event's always hosted on Father's Day weekend I really think this is kind of harming the event and I'm not trying to talk down staff if you're listening I'm not trying to talk down on you I'm just uh, expressing kind of my, my views on this um, I don't know if there's any way to deviate from the Father's Day weekend thing I'd love to actually in one year give it a shot and see if it improves anything. Uh, another thing is, and I, I know in this day and age it's, it's hard to do advertising, but um, you usually don't see a whole lot of advertising with this event. So I don't think that a lot of people th realize it's even really going on. Especially, you know, I think it's more of the locals kind of know what's going on. And, you know, maybe the public, you know, people won't kind of in the area might drive by and see something's going on but um, you know if there was a, a way to advertise it this is kind of what I'm doing here um, I, I really want to contribute back so I'm definitely mentioning the event here and uh, you know us as reenactors I, I want to personally invite you to this event I think we can get this event I'm not saying it's on life support right now but uh it's getting close and I think that uh us as reenactors we could attend this event make it good help advertise get the word out there that this is going on and I think we can help turn it around 
like I said, this is a great event. Um, you're not going to be doing uh, too much in the way of battles. It's more of a static display thing. If you like interacting with the public, having a chat with people, um, sharing history, talking about your kit, talking about your weapons, this is a great event to do that. And people are very curious, especially if you're doing something that's kind of outside the norm of reenacting. If you're doing something that's outside of Civil War and World War II, you're going to get attention. I guarantee it. We were doing 19, mid-1980s East German Grinstruppen, and people were all over us. And uh, a lot of good questions that were asked. So, reenactors, if you're in the Toledo, Ohio area, or at least in the region, and you have a clear schedule for next June, consider muster on the Maumee. Consider coming out. Give it a shot. Uh, advertise it. And uh, let's give back to this event. I really want to give back to this event because they treat us so well. And it's not often you see that, especially on, at an actual battle site inside a fort. How many events do you get to go inside of a uh, 1800s fort? There's not many, if any more at all than what's going on here. Let's give back to them, and I want to help them out. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about some future events that are coming up. You may be curious about reenactments that I will be attending and uh, others in the area. This is going to be in the Ohio region. Um, I had to realize there's other World War II reenactments that do happen elsewhere. This is going to be in the Ohio region. Uh, personally, I will be attending Alliance Ohio. It's called Ride Through History by the Mar Marlboro Re uh Sorry, Marlboro, what are the volunteers, I believe is what they call themselves. Sorry if I get it wrong here. This event is in July. I will put the dates in the description because, to be honest, I don't know off the top of my head as I'm making this and recording this live. So I will put all of the event dates in the description below. Um, but it is in July. This is a timeline event also. You do not see the expanse that you do at Muster on the Maumee. Usually, um, it's, it's hit and miss on the early ages. I've seen Re Revolutionary War. I've seen French and Indian War. World War I has popped up from time to time. Usually, the main players, though, is Civil War, World War II, and Vietnam. This is a cool event. You show up. Um, there are encampments you can check out. But you show up. You, uh, they do charge for a ticket. It's not expensive. But you uh, pay for a ticket to give you a ride time. And when it comes time to go check out the battles, you ride in a five-ton truck. And they take you to station to station down this uh, road and this woods. And each station represents the signifying time frame. And usually they have a little chat, they discuss it, and then they go through a scenario. The cool thing is, reenactors wise, we get to switch it up. So every battle is different, and we do about five to six battles a day. So between the weekend, you're doing roughly maybe 12, 13 or so battles for the weekend. That's awesome. And they usually help us out with blanks, which you do not see very often with uh, reenactments. Definitely something worth checking out. Uh, not just as a reenactor, but um, also in terms of uh, spectating. If you want to come check out that battle, kind of get an exposure to reenacting, I think this is a great way to do it. Again, that's coming up in July. The event after that, there's a couple of events that I have gone to in the past. I'm not going to discuss them because I'm not attending this year. I just decided not to. Those are in the Pennsylvania region. I'm not going to... Uh, go to those events this year, maybe next year. But uh, after the Alliance Ride Through History is going to be D-Day Connie Out. And this is a very huge World War II D-Day reenactment. It is, I believe they're trying to expand it into three days, but um, the main battles occur on Friday and Saturday of the event. Again, I don't know the dates off the top of my head. I just know it's in August. I will put those once more at the below you, below this video here, 
in the description. So the um, D-Day Ohio battle, huge event, multiple battles, uh, roughly 1,500 reenactors or so, give or take. Huge event, like I said. Um, if you plan on going, get there early. The uh, place does get rather crowded, especially with the spectators and such. So, like I said, this is a huge event. This is in Conneaut, Ohio. It's literally the farthest northeast corner of Ohio. And uh, this is, that's coming up in August. So, uh, after that, I don't really know for sure. Uh, there's some events I've been looking into in the fall. Um, but I'm not just too sure yet if I'm going to attend anything uh, World War II wise in the fall. Uh, this fall, I will be attending the Ohio Renaissance Fair, and I will be attending uh, with the 14th Legion. This is a Roman reenacting group, and we will be there during the Barbarian Weekend. Again, I don't know, I believe it's like the 23rd or something. Um, I will actually look right now. Yeah, I believe it's the 23rd, the weekend of the 23rd of September. That's at the Ohio Renaissance Fair. We're trying to get something set up where we can kind of have a display out there. If not, no big deal. We'll be the wandering group of Romans. And uh, we, 14th Legion does uh, first century, roughly, um, of Roman reenacting. That's something that I've technically have been a part of for a while. I just have not completed my kit yet and I know it's to the frustration of uh, the other guys that are in the unit um, or in the Legion but uh, I will be completing that kit by the end of the summer I assure you it's been delayed too long and it's something I it's actually what I wanted to do when I first started getting interested in reenacting over 10 years ago I actually wanted to start doing uh, with Roman, but there was no one active in this region. Now there is, which is great. So that's all I have uh, on my agenda. Um, I'm kind of saving up for the fall because in September I will be going to Gettysburg just on a personal trip. So I'm kind of saving some money because uh, not only do I want to have money for the trip, but... The surplus stores out there always have some cool stuff. So uh, that's all for now. I will try to make some more content here in the future. And uh, I, I actually did record a couple reenactor rants. But I had decided to hold off on those. And I'm probably going to redo those and edit them out a little bit to have a little bit better content. Um, and we'll go from there. So I hope to see you at a couple of these events coming up. And, uh, if you, again, if you have any questions about reenacting in general, go ahead and comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I don't always get to see them. Sometimes the email is iffy at best when someone comments. If you ask a question, I will do my absolute best to respond to that in a timely manner. Uh, don't get offended if I don't get to you right away. Thanks, everyone. Be safe. Have a good one. Hope to see you at a reenactment here in the near future.